Hello, Van. Hello, teacher. I hope you're fine. A long time I, I not see you. Uh, yeah. Let me see, Ben. So I would like to ask you a question. Can you tell me what we talked about in our previous lesson? We've talked about... Um, in our last we class, were, we were talking we about... Talk. Yeah, go ahead. We've talked about... Learn last class. Sorry, I could not listen to you well. Can you say that again one more time? We talk about the thing we've learned last class. Yeah, we talk about things that we use whenever we are going to travel. It was pretty much part of the last class. Some vocabulary words like uh, to rush, um, uh, especially like cell phones, camera, and all of these things. So now we are going to go backwards. Uh, I cannot see you, Ben. Um, I cannot turn on my camera. Oh, your webcam is not working fine? Yep. Okay, so no problem. Let me just go ahead and share my screen to you to show you the new lesson. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes, I can. Amazing. So here we are having some things that we may see in our daily lives. So our today's lesson is a vocabulary, All right? Look Farm at the tools. Okay. So can you tell me what that is? Um, we need to a postcard. A postcard. That's right. And what what is next? Um, apple juice. An apple juice, that's right. And what is next? A coffee. Okay, a coffee. And then after that? Um, a battery. A battery, that's right. Uh, or pretty much batteries, because it's a plural. That is correct. So let's continue. Look at this. Any idea what that is? Mm, it's a ticket. Ticket. Next one. It's a. Uh, it's a souvenir. Souvenir. All right. And after that. It's a sandwich. Sandwich, that's right. And after that? No, uh, after that is drink. Drink. Okay, amazing. So then let's continue. So those are things that we can find in a snack bark. Oh, what's happened? Okay, sorry, give me one second. I close everything for now. Oh, no problem. Give me one second, Ben. You close out everything. Oh, wow. It closed, it closed everything. All my tabs.
I think it's giving me issues with the with this uh, browser. I don't know what's happened. Give me one second, man. This should not happen to me. What are you doing? So I'm trying to reopen this, but it's kind of like it's not doing it. Something strange happens here. Let me see. Okay. See? Well, give me a second, man. I think there is a problem over here. So big K is with this. Okay, let me give it a try. So let me see. Then I have one more option. Let me see if I, have, if I got it here. Ban? I'm here. Okay, no problem. I'm just reopening the lesson here. I can't see it. It's already opening. Give me one second, right?
Hello, bạn. I'm still here. Okay, no problem. Here I am. So let me ask you something. Did you see this lesson before? Let me show mm. you. I'm going to show you. This one. Yeah. I don't think so, right? So, okay, let me ask you something. You see something similar, but not this one per se. So let me ask you something. So here we have a uh, thing before I told you how to say the time in English, all right? So in order for somebody to, to say the time in English, all right? So we have, we need to consider the time of, uh, of a clock, all right? So we have the, we have there the time o'clock. Uh, for example, if we're gonna talk about the time and we are going to talk about an, a specific time, all right? For example, let's say five minutes after the hour, 10 minutes after the hour, you will say um, five past to 10 or 10 past to 10, for example. If we are referring about a quarter of the hour, we can say a quarter past 11 o'clock, for example. So in the case of, um, okay, for example, 10, 20, how will I say, how would you say that in English, Ben? Can you repeat? I can't hear it well. Okay, for example, for example, in the case of 20 minutes after the hour we are talking about, how will it be? How will it be? 20 past 10. 20 past 10. What if I say, for example, 25 minutes? 25 past 10. And if I'm talking about 30 minutes? Um, half past 10. Okay, and what's happened with the hour, with the time after a half an hour? So in the case, let's pretend that it's 25 minutes in order to be 11 o'clock, for example. How would you say that in English? Twenty-five. Twenty-five to twenty-five to eleven. That is correct. After the first, after the second thirty minutes, after the second thirty minutes, um, then it's gonna be two. For example, oh. twenty-five to eleven. Twenty to eleven. And in the case of the quarter, it's going to be a quarter to 11, 10 to 11, 50 to 11, referring the way how we say the hour in English. Do you understand that, Ben? Yeah. Amazing. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. Here we are going to match the time with for picture number one to number six and pictures A to F, then we complete the time. Look at there. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. let's see this one. Number two. Four. Number two is... Uh, would you like to would you like to have some minutes to organize your ideas? Number two is 10, yes. right? It's the letter B. Can so I will be a minute to organize your idea. It's gonna be only one minute, but you may be able to organize your ideas. Let's see how you do it. Three is E. Four okay. is 
Mm. Okay, let me show you. Here it is. Okay. Okay. The first one, the second one is 10 plus eight. That's there B. The third one is? The fourth one is D. The fifth okay. one is A. And the sixth one is F. Okay, amazing. Great job. Let's continue. Look at that. So now we are going to list in a circle the correct time below. So you will listen to this circle and try to match with the correct answer. Listen carefully. Unit two, recording seven. There it is. One. Half past 12. Okay. Two. Quarter Half past four. Half. Okay. Three. Twenty to seven. Okay. Four. Twenty-five to five. Okay. <laughs> well done. Okay. Any idea? Okay. So number one, what is it? Mm, number one is B. Oh. Okay, number two. Number two, I can't hear it. Okay, can you hear me? I can't hear the audio. What about now? Can you hear me well? You me a second. Okay, let's continue. What's number two? I don't know. Let's continue. Yeah, I don't know what's number two. Number two, this one is not corresponding. Look at there. Let me show you. Look at that. Number two is it's not mm. corresponding, it's gonna be C. This one, number on number yeah. two, the first one and the, the first yeah. one and the second are not corresponding. However, the last one does, all right? And no, number three is gonna be six, four, and number four is gonna be 425, or 35 rather, 435, you got it? Yep. Amazing. So let's continue. So look at this. Now we are going to work in pair. That means you and I. Okay. Let me see. Let me one second. Let me clean up the screen. Okay. Right now. Okay, can you see these questions, Ben? Yes, I can. All right, mm -hmm. so here there are some key questions that we use in our daily routines. So I'm gonna ask you questions and you will answer me. Okay, let me see. At the weekend, what time do you get up? Okay, number one, at the weekend, what time do you get up? I get up at eight. Eight o'clock. And what about during the weekdays? At the weekday, I get about seven o'clock. Okay, seven o'clock. Nice. What time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast when I wake up. Okay. Okay, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch um, at 
11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Okay, what time do you go to bed? That's for sleeping purposes. So what time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay, and what about on Saturday? Uh, can you tell me what do you do on Saturday? I have online classes. Say it again one more time. I have online classes. Oh, nice. Nice, very good job. Let me see, let's continue. Look at there. So here we have a reading exercise that we are going to follow so that we can understand, right, the context of this reading. Listen well. You ready? Yep. Amazing. Well, we have three places over here, and I want you to read about these three places, okay? So, and we are going to understand what about these places, how important these places are, and we're going to complete a multiple choice task during, uh, we, during this um, exercise, all right? Number one, San Francisco. What's yeah. We have three places. I want you to read the read them so we can disclose, all right, what is that about? Number one, San Francisco. San Francisco. Start your tour of this beautiful city anywhere along your hop on hop of bus routes. Our buses stop at all of the important places. See the Golden Gate Bridge close up. Stop for lunch at and shopping at Fisherman's Wild War. And visit the street of Chinatown and our and our own little Italy in North Beach. Golden Gate Boat Tour. The perfect way to start your visit to San Francisco. This one hour boat ride goes around San Francisco Bay, next to Alcatraz and under the Golden Gate Bridge. Our boats have indoor and outdoor seating and a snack bar so you can enjoy refreshments while seeing this amazing city from the water. Chinatown, Chinatown walking tour. All right. Our school takes you to all the popular places in Chinatown, including the food markets, a Buddhist temple, and a herbal pharmacy. And you will see some secret places too. The tour finishes with an eight course dim sum lunch, so you can take you can taste the be very best of Chinatown cooking. Okay, so let's see the number, let's see the number two, work in pair. So look at the photos, okay, at the left left from San Francisco, and then now let's answer the question. So you already, I want you to look at it. Do let me know if you can see it well. Look at the photos. Okay. Okay, the three photos especially, right? So okay. the number one, what tour can people take? People can take. San Francisco, oh. Golden Gate Board Tour or China. Tour. Chinatown walking tour. All right. So which tour? Look at there. Look at the answer well. Okay. So which tour have eating or drinking? 
a famous bridge and a shopping. Eating or drinking is Chinatown. Okay. Famous bridge is Golden Gate Boat Tour. Okay. And the shopping is um is also yeah. the Chinatown. Yeah, that's right. And which tour do you like? I like China tour. Oh, the Chinatown tour? Yep. Amazing. So look at this. Let's continue. Okay. Listen carefully to this audio. So now it's time to listen and practice. Listen to this. Okay. Unit two, recording eight. Oh, look, tourist information. We can ask there. Okay, you ask. No, you ask. My English isn't very good. You speak English very well. You ask. No, you ask. No, you ask. Okay. Um, excuse me? Do you speak English? Yes, can I help you? Yes, thank you. My friend has a question. No! Oh, uh, okay. We want to take a tour. Okay, which tour is that? The hop on, hop off bus tour, the Golden Gate boat tour, the Chinatown walking tour. Okay. Uh, I, I don't understand anything. She asked which tour. Oh, the Golden Gate boat tour? Ah, the boat tour. Good choice. And I think we have a couple of places left on the tour tomorrow morning if you're interested in that one. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Bye. What's the problem? I don't understand her. She speaks too fast. Oh, come on. Let's go back. No, I don't want to. I feel so stupid. Oh, come on. Okay. So now let's see the answers, okay? Which tour do the tourists want? Bang. Mm -hmm. They want the Golden Gate boat tour. Okay, do they, okay, do they book the tour? Mm, no, they don't. Okay, let me see. Uh, what's the problem? They can't understand what she's talking. She's talked too fast. Okay, that is correct. So look at that. The man doesn't understand the tourist information and the woman. She speaks too fast, okay? And he feels very stupid. Let's continue. Okay, 3A. So this is what we are going to do, Bang, in this exercise, especially here with your ideas, your knowledge about this. So you are going to organize the sentences in the proper order. You got it? Um, yep. Okay, I'm gonna give you two minutes to organize sentences and I'm gonna be asking you one by one, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you have two minutes, I'll be here. Let me take some water real quick. Meanwhile, you are doing the exercise. I'm gonna monitor you, all right? I'm gonna be checking real quick. Okay. So let me see.
Just let me know once you're ready, Ben. Okay, let's see number one. Ben? Mm. What is number one? Any I'm idea? Not done yet. Oh, you're I'm not done? done? Yep. Okay, let me know once you're ready. Okay, well, I'm about done. Okay, let me know once you're ready. I'm done. Okay, you're done. Oh, you organize it this way. Number one. Mm, number one. Okay. What time does it start? Well done. Next one. Hmm. Where does it leave? Next one. When does the tour finish? Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Man, the next one. Yes, I can. Okay, number three. <laughs> When does the tour finish? Okay, when does does the tour finish? Number four. How much does it cost? Okay, fantastic. Number five. Did you take credit cards? Do you take credit cards? That's right, well done, pretty good job. You did it very well. So there you can see. Okay, so look at this grammar. Okay. Let me show you this. So here we are going to read and listen to a part of a conversation again. And we're going to underline the three expressions right, the woman uses when she doesn't understand. So listen carefully to the expression she's going to say. And after that, we'll go to check the underline. Did you understand? Yes. Okay, amazing. Here we go. Can you see it? No, it's a black screen. Black screen? Yes. Okay.
Okay, let me see, can you listen? Okay, listen carefully. Unit two, recording 11. Can you listen, Ben? Yes, I can. Hello, we're back. Okay. Hello again, so do you want the Golden Gate boat tour? Uh, could you speak more slowly, please? Of course. Would you like the Golden Gate boat tour? Yes, tomorrow. Would you like the morning or afternoon tour? Tomorrow morning. What time does it start? At 10 o'clock exactly. Excuse me, 10 o'clock? Yes, oh. at 10. And where does it leave from? From Pier 43. Or the minibus to the boat leaves from the front gate at 9.45. Sorry, could you repeat that? The minibus to the boat okay. leaves from the front gate. Okay, did you manage to listen that? So now let's yes, see. Can. can you tell me the words that you may underline? Let me give you a clue. The first could you is the phrase. More, could you speak more slowly, please? Okay, that is the one that, uh, that we first consider. The next one in the context of the conversation. Excuse me, 10 o'clock. Okay, next one. Next one is... Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? Okay, yes. so let's continue. Speaking, all right. Okay. So here it is. I have these questions for you. What time do you get up on the weekdays and weekends? What time do you have breakfast? What time do you live home? I I, I have breakfast at um when I after I brush my teeth. Okay. And number two, what time do you have? Okay, you already told me. What time do you leave home for work? For work? That's right. Oh, for example, to do your homework. If you're gonna do, well, actually uh, now you cannot, you cannot go out, but let's say housework. What I time don't... do you spend? Or maybe a school works. Any idea? Like a school work, it can be. I do. Can you hear me well? My house work. I can't hear you properly. I can't hear you properly. No. I, can you repeat that? For example, like what time do you leave home? That's just an example. Not necessarily you need to do that, but the idea is that you learn how to say it and how to use it in context. For example, what time do you leave home for school? I leave home for school at 7 okay. p.m. Okay. Uh, hello. Okay, next one. What time do you have lunch? It's crazy. Ben, can you hear me well? Can you hear me well? Yes, I can. No. Okay, now it's better. Okay, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at 11 a.m. And what time do you get home? I get home at 4 I, have, I get a work half past four. And what time do you get? Uh, let me ask you something. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at, um, I have dinner at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. And what time do you, do you go to bed? I go to bed at I already said that. 
Okay. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. That's right. So look at there. Now, look at this one. Now we're going to change roles. Now you work at the tourist information center. Look at the information below, below all right? Then you're going to answer as to, uh, the students A questions in order for uh, for them to be switched, like the walking tour and the rock concert. Okay, do you understand? Okay. So, number one, walking tour. Walking tour. Mm, I can't hear you. Walking tour. What know. time? The starting time. You can change it. Walking tour at. Uh, 10 a.m. Okay. So let's see here. What about the finish time? Finish time is 1 a.m. 1 a.m., for example. Okay. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay. Places. Places? Yeah, that's right. Like place where it where it took place. The, at the Chinese restaurant. Okay, Chinatown. And what is the price? It price of about one thousand dollar. It's gonna be okay. Fine. It's a rock okay. monster. Let me see. What time? What time does um, it start? The what is it? What concert? The concert? Yeah, this one. Look at here. Can you see it below? This one. Run concert. No. No. no Can you see my screen? Um. Yeah, you. Okay, this one is road concert. You got it? No, I can't see it. Let me see. It's, it's strange. Let me see. Let me see. This one. All right. Look at the air. Okay, road concert. Rock concerts start at 8 p.m. and it'll, and finish time is 30 is half past 11. Okay, yeah. 11 p.m. Okay, no, very good. And what is the place? The place is at the Fillmore. And what is the price? Price is $75. Remember, you can substitute, right, for another amount. Yep. Okay, so look at this. So I'm going to give you a homework, Ben. Look at this one. What is your homework going to be? Obviously, your homework is going to be to make a video. CD, you oh, come on. Again? Let me tell you, I don't Again? No, 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 like that. Yeah. yeah, but let me tell you what, especially what is that different from the other ones. Let me specify to you. That's not going to be like the videos you, you, you make before. It's something different. So what I want you to do okay. is especially if you have the opportunity to dress, for example, Let's imagine that you are traveling the world, all right? Something different. I don't want you to make something like, like always as you always do. No, 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 something different. Like you can dress yourself, all right? Use like, I don't know if you have some hats or things like that. You can use, like, you know, maybe not necessarily has to be like, you know, uh, things that you need to buy or things like that. You can look for things in your house 
and dress as if you are a real tourist guy with the intention to show your city. You can open the windows and say, hello everyone, my name is Ben. And here, this is my city. There you can see the neighborhood. You can see my friends. I can see this, I can see that, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. What I want you to do is to live what you are learning. You're learning the language, but I want you also you to live the language so that you can practice what you're learning at this, at that very moment. You got it? Okay. Ben, can you tell me what did we learn today in the class? We've learned about asking for information. Asking for information. Okay, what kind of information especially? Can you tell me some of them? Hmm. Do you repeat? I can't hear you. Okay, can you tell me again what kind of information? No, I still can't hear you. Can you hear me now? What kind no. of, okay, what kind of information? About Okay, so Ben, remember the homework, the video with the specification I was asking you for, try to do it this way. You can also even open, I know there, there's a pandemic there in Vietnam, but you can be creative. You have the freedom to be creative. So you yeah. can also open your window and like, and you know, like show to show the, the garden and all of the things around you, and use all that on your favor so that you, you know can that I can't you know that I can't bring the uh, air, the air pack outside. Not necessarily you need to go out, you can go like hi and then start talking, you know, just try to be creative, all right? Or another mm -hmm. option you can use like um for example pictures of, of the places but i would encourage you to have you know to use the resources that you have you do not need to use extra resources you can use only your your imagination and talk about the place and that will be very simple right okay well ben thank you so much i hope you have a nice rest of the day and see you next class Okay, bye-bye, teacher. Bye. bye.